In Tanzania, there is a paradox. 75% of the jobs are in agriculture. 80% of the people live in rural areas, while only contributing 30% to the economy. This is a big mismatch. Recently, the government of Tanzania has just endorsed the second five-year development plan, which is aiming uh, for increased industrialization in the country. Unfortunately, what we see is industries in Tanzania has been growing informally, and this poses a challenge when it comes to food and hunger. Data shows that people engaged in industry are engaged informally, and with this, they don't have security with their jobs, and they're failing to take good care of their families. Consequently, this also affects the nutrition, not only of themselves, but also of the young children that they have within their families. When you think of nutrition, it's very important that children are breastfed ever since they're born for the first six months. At the same time, they're provided with all the required nutrition in the first three years. Missing any of that, it means all the gains that might be gained in industrialization will be lost even for the kids if they don't get the nutrition at the beginning of their lives. In Tanzania, a lot of industrialization will be in agro-processing, in particular food processing. It's very important that the nutrients are preserved so that the Tanzanians can benefit and not lose out. The food that Tanzanians eat should not be negatively affected by industrialization. The takeaway in policies when it comes to industrialization in Tanzania, we should not take a step back by making sure that we engage the women better in the industrialization so that they can still take care of their families. And at the same time, we make sure the industries, when they process the food, they do preserve all the nutrients.